What, what game is this we're playing? This is Brush Fire. Yeah, it's a historical parody skirmish game. Okay. All of our factions are based on real world uh, historical armies and nations, but they're all populated by animals. Okay. How many factions are there? There are eight in the main rule book. Uh, all right. We've got a Japanese faction, a British faction, a Zulu African faction, German, uh, Chinese, Japanese, there's a whole bunch. All right. Um, on the demo table, we've got our Mediterranean city-state faction, which has mice, a capybara, and jumping mice in it. This is also what comes in the starter set. Uh, on the Japanese side of the table, we've got otters with rifles, a kunoichi, and a tanuki samurai, which is also what comes in the starter set for the Japanese faction. Very cool. Okay, so I guess, how does the game start? Okay, the first thing you both do is you roll a d10, and you'll determine who goes first. And you do that by comparing the rolls, don't re-roll, <laughs> and you have a knowledge value on every single model. You're going to use whatever is the highest for your deployed army, which is going to be the five from your cap right. Vera Captain, and the six from your Kunoichi. So, so, do you get the cards with the, the boxes when the you buy starter, them? Uh, all of these cards come in the starter set, as well as when you buy um, expansion models, like blisters and uh, squad boxes. You okay. get the stack card for that model. Awesome. So you beat him with an eight to a seven, so that means you get to go first. All and right. brush fire, turns are alternating. So you'll activate a group of models as a squad, and then you'll do the same thing. Okay. Then you'll go back and forth until every model is activated this once. Is and then at the top of a new turn, you roll initiative again, and then you'll you go through everything again. So the first thing you do is pick what you want to activate. You can either activate the Tanuki Samurai, the Otter Ashigaru, or the Kikunoichi. You can activate all three of the Otter Ashigaru together because they're within three inches of each other, they're the same type of model, and they have the same equipment. Why you not? don't have two, though. You can activate two of them individually, or one of them, and split them up. Oh, the next, cool. On your next turn, if they're eligible to activate together again, you can do it. And right. put, put them all back together. There's no fixed unit, unit squads. Actually, I'm going to get this guy in, in the battle real fast. Okay. He has a speed of five, as listed on his stat card. Uh -huh. right. So you'll use the measuring tape to move him out. And you can choose to move his five, or you can choose to double it, and that's called rushing. Oh, no, if you rush, you lose your might, grace, and wits values until the top of the next turn. Okay. So what do all these stats stand for in here? Um, it's the first and last letter of the word. It's might, which is your melee skill. Okay. Grace is your range skill. Vitality is your health. Wits is your reaction time. It represents your ability to dodge incoming attacks. Knowledge is for determining who goes first every turn. It's also for using hero special abilities. And charm is for fear tests. Okay. Which we don't have the demo, so you have to worry about that one. And it's also for using certain hero special abilities. And isn't that nice? Look, it lists the size base they go on. <laughs> yeah, it's even in the rule book, so you can always proxy our names. Alright, awesome. Okay. So you've activated your Snooki Samurai. You've moved him. He has a bow, which has Is a speed of four. four. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can so, move four or eight. So can you do the move and then make the charge, or is the charge the move? No, you do it uh, after. You move, shoot, and then charge. Okay. I really like the long charge distances in this. Um, <laughs> That's only for them. Uh, the drawback to it is that it counts as a ranged attack, so they use their grace to hit rather than their might. Okay. So is there any sort of lock? Is there hit, okay. But is it closes there, the gap for them. Is there any sort of locked in combat, or they can move um, out whatever time it, they want? Or? It's, you can move out whenever you want, but uh, models can choose to activate immediately to take attacks as you're leaving close combat. Okay. Very sensible. So you move them, so now it's your activation. And because you've already activated that samurai, you can't go again. You have to activate everything else first. I'm going to move her. Yep, she has a speed of six. Does she have, well, can she shoot anything? She has a kunai. It's a throwing dagger. She has ten inches on that. Ten inches on that. I can't. Okay, well, I'm just going to move her in a twelve. Is this a standard board size? Uh, uh, usually it's a uh, four by four or four by six. Uh, for big games, for smaller games, it's usually like four by two.
right, so these are actually levels up for campaigns and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, when you set it, when you go to do a match, you'll set a hero level, uh, which will be like hero level five. So you okay. can come. You have one level five hero, or you can have five level ones, or a level two and a level three. You put however many hero levels you want to put into your heroes. Wow. You have. Do they like lose the ability to get them if they've taken if they've died in the game or? Oh, uh, it depends on the count. Kind of, the campaign's being played out. Okay. Virginia. Um, but uh, the more hero levels a model has is the uh, the better equipment they get and the more talent points that they can spend. Okay. Uh, so like if you're level three hero, you'll have three talent points. So you could either put them all in one tree or you could spread them across the trees. Okay. Two here, one there. Awesome. Very cool. I like that aspect. All right, so these guys are firing. They're 25 inches in. So you roll three dice because they're making three attacks. And you did not. <laughs> roll one die for yourself. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, so what kind of a result did he need here? Uh, you rushed, so you don't get your wet value, oh, okay. which would normally okay. bring you to a. Wow, point. that makes so much sense now. Okay. But yeah. so they're what drawing line of sight through the Tanuki Samurai. So that provides you two points of cover. Okay. So you have a total of three. Still not good. Still not good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's great rushing there. <laughs> great job rushing. A ten, a seven, and a four. We'll deal with the, the ten first. A face value of ten on the die is a critical hit. It just automatically hits regardless of any modifiers. Nice. And ignores armor. Wow. So this guy has three armor. All rending. <laughs> so the damage would normally not have done any damage to him. So he's going to take two right off the bat because the rifle does two damage and has one armor. So now I'll deal with the actual ones. And aren't crits. He has three points of armor. Those rifles have armor piercing. Armor piercing doesn't stack, so it just brings his down, armor down to two. And then you apply damage from the first attack to his armor, so his armor's at zero now. The third attack hit as well, so it applies two damage past his armor because the armor's gone, and he's taken a total of four damage. So you apply damage to armor first, and then apply it Got to his it. vitality. And and how many, uh, uh, so it can only soak so much one round. Per activation. Oh, per activation. Well, so now that that activation is over, if, his armor's back up to three. Oh, the armor comes back even. That's cool. Alright, so. Okay, so Bobby so here that's the end of your activation. Charged, so shot him you. in the face, basically. Took his armor down a little. Hit him in combat, so his armor's already down. It's in the same model's activation. And uh, beat down two points of damage. Two points. Yep. Out of four. So he's halfway dead. Now, can he not fight back until he activates that unit? Uh, he's already activated. Okay. So you have to wait till the next round to fight yeah, back. Charge reactions um, can only be made if the model is not activated yet. Okay. Awesome. Would it take up his activation to do the charge reaction? What's that? Would it take his activation? Up? It would also take his activation. Okay. It wouldn't take his activation, just the model's activation. Okay. Uh, but they'll probably be like mice and rats to start out with. Okay. So right now, are you making a twenty-five? Are you making your jumping attack? Um, what they do, they have a charge of twenty-five. Uh, they are jumping mice. Um, I love that dynamic of the game because they actually really exhibit the fact that they're jumping mice. They're going to be jumping clear across the board and stabbing on the way down some riflemen. We're going to see how this turns out. Really and excited lose, about that. In this case, they're, they're counting as a ranged attack instead of combat, which is not really what they're good at. So they do take a minus four. They're using their race yeah, instead yeah, of their, their mice. Instead of, yeah, instead uh, of their did you activate them already? Uh, yeah, you move it forward. forward. Yeah. You moved in five inches, I think. Okay. Um, as you've already activated them, it counts as they can't make a charge reaction. Uh, if, if they hadn't activated yet, they could take shots yeah. at them as they were leaping into the zone. Okay. Can you ever choose to... <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the no jerk... Oh, my God. Okay, so this is one of these stat cards on here. Um, actually, can you go over what the stats are, too? Sure. Uh, this is Might, which is your melee skill. Grace, which is your range skill. Vitality, which is your hit points. Wits, which is your dodge. Knowledge, which is your initiative. And Charm, which is your fear resistance. Okay. Uh, knowledge and Charm are also used for several hero so abilities. Um, under there are the point costs, which is, uh, we use three resources for brush fire, food, lumber, and gold. Uh, food will usually get you your troops, lumber and gold will get you their upgrades. So when you go to play a game, you'll say you're playing a 100-point game, you'll get 100 of food, lumber, and gold, uh, 100 of each. Uh, 
over here is the standard equipment that comes with the model. So when you pay for their resource cost, you'll get uh, a lance, medium armor for this for each one of those models. You can then choose to upgrade it to heavy armor, which you, uh, will end up costing you like Mediterranean run card. So they're like uh, <laughs> Italian city states, a bit of Spanish compete, which will cost you 15 gold per model. Wow, okay. and that gives you then five armor as opposed to three armor. That's, that's really cool. I really, I really like that. Well, I'm getting more guys. It doesn't necessarily always cost me more gold. I'm buying. You know, why am I buying that? Just because so. um, Very cool. Yeah, we designed it so that way when you're upgrading troops, you're not removing more troops to get upgrades. Yeah.